really see out here. I wasn't and like the first kind of the first one to do that, really. Yeah. And two, I'm also really small, so. <laughs> I, know, so. But, no, I, I know I probably get beat up in a fight, so I try to avoid any confrontation on the track, so I don't have to deal with it in pits. But I think That's what smart. your parents like almost instill in you is the respect for racing. Like you've been a race fan forever, always going to the races. So you, when you actually got in the car, like those were the guys that you looked up to racing. So like, yeah, there was a huge amount of level of respect, I think, coming from you whenever you Yeah, true, that, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, and I mean, I'm sure the kids these days watch also. But yeah. I don't know, I mean, the style of racing has just changed in all forms of racing. It's Absolutely. not just, it's not just outlaw cars and midgets, like, right. Cup racing is way more aggressive than it used to be five years ago. Yeah. Sprint car racing is way more aggressive than it was five years ago. Um, just, yeah, you're just changing. We're just behind our time. Yeah, yeah, we quit five years ago. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> held on too long. <laughs> I do remember, did you stir some shit up at Antioch one time at an outlaw show running through the yep. infield? Yeah. That's the only thing I really remember you doing something like questionable, and I think yeah. you were probably being influenced by the people you were driving for. Is that what I was uh, No, I mean, I was just trying to. Try you little to, dick? No, I was trying to win the race. Uh, <laughs> what was the story? I don't know so, the story. It was two, so I just won Gold Cup, I think, here in 2011, and we went to Antioch maybe the next night, yeah. and it was rubber down around the infield tires, and I was running second, and Steve Pinder was leading, I think Jason Sides, honestly, might have been third, or Tim Katie, I think Tim Katie was third, um, and like, it was rubber down, so I mean, how am I going to, we had a restart with a few to go, so I've Went into the infield under yellow and like just fit some dust onto the track. That's a Pistol Pete Johnson move right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a Brett Katie thing. I was racing for the team, so I think I learned it from him. Absolutely. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I was just trying to do what I could to oh, man. see if Steve could miss the rubber and I'd squeeze by. And uh, apparently I must have sprayed. Tim, I think, I think it was Tim, it might have been, I think it was Sides. I remember Sides wanted to they, kill Well, they right both, there. so it was, I think it was Sides, and then, like, he comes blowing around me under yellow, and I'm like, pies are up, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> and he dusted me bad, uh, and then Tim must have saw, Tim wasn't even running, like, in the front at all, but he got to the scales and was in my face, yelling at me, <laughs> Uh, he had a he had a heart on for me back then. So. I've seen Tim get involved with other people's stuff yeah. a few times. Yeah, no like, reason to be involved. Yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was that was fun. So. Um. So did Steve? Did you mess up, Steve? No. Okay. Okay. He still it didn't work. No, he didn't still work. won. I ran second. But I was trying. You gotta try. You gotta try the tricks. Well, so that's a replica car that um, yeah. Paul just built. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. same car. Same car. Same engine. Uh, oh, it is actually the same car? Yeah. Where was it? So it's been through a few different owners, um, mostly like non-wing so like Really? SAC, whatever, CRA, or whatever. Funny. Some guy um, asked me last night, and I'm like, no, it wasn't the same car. I think it's not around yeah, anymore. No, wow, that's amazing. It's, uh, it's, I think it's been clipped. I think it's got different front clip sure. on it. But um, Steve Watt was the last person that had it. He had it for a few years. So like whenever Sunshine would go run Ventura, that was the car. Oh, wow. And he would, every year he'd say, I'm gonna give it back to you guys. Oh, wow. and as soon as I'm done with it, I'm just gonna give it to Paul. Awesome. Uh, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, but Paul had bought the engine um, a long time ago. I think when Rich Dadaloffer and Brent King had their split, he bought the engine. And he was just gonna flip it and sell it. And I was like, dude, no, I'm just gonna save it. Cause someday I'm gonna get that car and I need the engine too, so. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, he obviously, Paul, as he does everything, like puts a ton of effort into it. So it's like got the same seat spacers, no way. Uh, fuel blocks. I mean, everything like tape around the radius rods and all that. So um, it's it's beautiful. That's and I'm glad I have it. Where do you where do you keep it? Uh, right now, it just got dropped off my shop. So I'll leave it at my shop probably. Is that the the shop that we saw on the USA show, the Race with the Champions. So uh, yeah. That was a good. That was a that was a cool show. I like yeah, it. yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, though. great. Yeah. It was nice to see you at your family and just like actual natural yeah. habitat. So it's natural to be with the camera. Yeah, I comes. get that. Yeah. That must get old. <laughs> it's just, you just can't like it's just awkward. Right. Well, what's your story tonight?
try not to spin out. Okay. Um, <laughs> the engine should run good, so it should be off to a better start before we ever start. Yeah, he actually... Off to a better start, he, he was like a half second quicker than me in our qualifying room, so... Yeah, you yeah, picked yeah. on the chart. That was a tough... I don't know if you realized, but that was a tough uh, heat yeah, race that last night. <laughs> It was. I, I didn't even realize until I forgot the format, like, the hot like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But then I was like, oh, shoot, like, my knee is stacked. There is that. Yeah, there wasn't, like, anybody in that in it, right? So, yeah. No, we're, hopefully we'll get Lowell to uh, put a little less water on it tonight. I've been, we've been talking to him about that all year, and no, fans don't like the dust, so we Either Keep do I. Juice I'm going to go throw the juice it out. <laughs> <laughs> there's, still, there's still grease up top, though. Like, if I, I got my right rear, it's just slime. I know. Yeah. This dirt is actually interesting because it almost seems like the hotter it gets, the greasier it stays. And I mean, I've noticed that for, for years racing here on Friday nights. Like the surface gets harder or something. It, it is different. So you would think the sun would just bake it. And it was pretty windy yesterday, too. Yeah. Not only was it 112, it was, it was yeah. pretty breezy. So. Uh, the fact that he actually got that track to stay that wet is interesting, whether it was right or wrong for racing. But uh, yeah. Lowell does have a history of rubber down. I always call him rubber down Wednesdays when it comes to this week. So he, he told me that last night was not going to be rubber down. So, um, so you shouldn't have been teasing him. That's what happened. Well, you like the juice stuff. I didn't mind we were, the track. I mean, I know we were rolling around like before the picking green. Well, this is a board with track, damn it. And I was driving my ass off, and this guy just drove right by me in the middle. I, I do not understand how you do that. <laughs> Would you please tell us? Just look for the grip. There was no grip there. It was just fucking dirt. It's like a secret. Yeah, he was spraying the dirt to the middle. Yeah, there was some of that, but yeah, no, that was impressive. It was impressive, fun. Dude. It was fun driving for the back. I wish I didn't have to, but it was fun. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, our wives had the theory that you did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it on purpose. I was okay, listen, it wasn't just your wives. The yes. whole bleachers oh, we were sitting dad. in all said, he did that on purpose, right? I'm all, that was weird, right? <laughs> And my the, daddy like, I didn't even see it because he wasn't close to the front, so I wasn't watching you. So I missed it. For all I know, you didn't. I was pissed. I, <laughs> I was mad at myself. So. I, I mean, I don't really laugh too much in the car, but when I came back around, I, I did kind of like, oh my God, what is going on here? Because I saw somebody away. spin out. I drove by, and I, I didn't know like, who it was, but it definitely wasn't you <laughs> until I came around. You know, the next thing I thought about? I wonder what Paul's thinking. <laughs> I don't think Paul he was too bad. Yeah, I don't think he was gonna have the seat out, and throw it out. Yeah. I, I think we were all mad at the engine, so I think we were. I started. He tried selling out. me the engine. I went down there to yeah. talk to him. He goes, "You want to buy an engine?" I'm like, "Hell, I'm ready to sell out." And then I'm like, <laughs> You can't make it go. I sure so yeah, won't be able to. It's fast. You just have to be wide open. Otherwise, it doesn't oh, run. That sounds like a Ford bird. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not going to have to go out there and drive man. Uh, well, Kyle? We were going to talk championships, I think. That's right. So, what, what, what year did you win the NARC championships? Uh, 10, I think. That was 10. So, you won the Gold Cup in 11, yep. but then you won the NARC championship the year before. Yeah. Okay. I think I was watching fun. something. I think I ran second to you. Right. Civil right. War. Civil War. Okay. So yeah, that that's a great thing you bring up. So you won the NARC championship. You won the Knoxville Nationals. You won the Rolex. You won the Nick. Uh, Kings Royal. Kings Royal NASCAR championship. Never won a Civil War title, bud. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? I, I don't know. We were regulating back know. then. Yeah. <laughs> Much younger. Yeah. So I picked on him 14. when he was 14, he picked on him when he was 15, and then he left, thank God. <laughs> we were able to win a few more. And so that's really the only thing that you don't have on your resume is a Civil War championship. That and an uh, open winner at Love. Holy crap! What? What did you say? See, that, box that's the thing about red all, these well, you the talented, box stocks, but. all these young talented kids. Like, my favorite thing of going to Red Bluff watching these young kids like and you guys had a good group like you colby um southers yeah make some more like yeah exactly he's like, in a modify a nine c modify now is he yeah. really yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so much fun watching those kids grow and become great drivers but like the really good ones like they get to the open for like a year and then they're gone like we don't see them anymore because yeah 
count takes them everywhere. I just, I've never been good at Red Bluff. Oh, you I won a lot of 125 yeah. races and 250, but never won a box stock race. Oh, I really? I think I won like one open intermediate race there and like hardly ever been intentionally open. Yeah. I just, I think, yeah, because I'm not like rough enough. Yeah, that place gets cutthroat. Yeah. So is there, a lot there, so is there any part of you that would like to go to Red Bluff and just try it, or do you, oh yeah, oh, so you saw I ran West desire? Coast Nationals. I did a few years ago. I don't know if it was West Coast Nationals or whatever it was. It probably was. But I was running second and like catching leader. Yeah. And I got into a lap car and stall. Yeah, I, I remember that. That, that might just been a point race, like a regular yeah, point race. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, well, I'm maybe trying to go back this year. I need to win a open race up before I die. <laughs> <laughs> of all the bucket lists that yeah. he has, it's like, to win. <laughs> Gotta go to Red Bluff, yeah. win a go-kart race. I need to. Yeah. Uh, 5,000 people there on a January yeah, no rainy, days. snowy night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're done with you. Oh, yeah. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> 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 Okay, buddy. Good job. Thanks. We're proud of you. Bring the Colby in. Yeah. Colby. Uh -oh. Yeah, we want. We're yeah, supposed to pimp our shirts. Other third of uh, the LC promotions. These Shark Tale shirts go. Oh, 100% proceeds go to charity. The Andy and Sean charity. <laughs> <laughs> Next on our show, the Outlaw Showcase champion. Oh yeah, I like that one. Colby Colby in the back Colby one here. Right yeah. 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 Don't get him any closer to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to see a promoter hustling their butt off all race long. Like every time we've got a race here with SLC promotion, like this guy's on a quad everywhere. Like you yeah. can't even get a word in with him. Like this guy's trying to text him and complain about it's everything. Damn lights. Yeah. But yeah, you're hustling your butt off. So you definitely see it from a, a different angle of being a racer. I bet. Yeah. But we appreciate the hustle. Man. Yeah. Like, I know you were a little discouraged about the show and everything and timing and not being on time. But, dude, what are you going to do? Like, sometimes it's just out of your hands. And Well, yeah, it's, it just gets uh, frustrating because as a racer, you're, you know, everybody always has to wait until the last minute because they want the, the track condition they're going to have. So they're not going to make any changes. And they're putting fuel in the last minute. Oh, we got to do this here. So then, like, you're, uh, you're, you're calling everybody to staging and then I'm riding through the pit and you know one guy's got no gear on he's outside <laughs> of his car he's changed they got guys under there changing the gear trying to put fuel in and, and the other half like, of the field's going on the dude track. you were in the first heat race <laughs> you've had all this time and you were in the first heat race and, and you're still changing gears and your main event half the field's already on the track yeah so I don't know if we're not know. trained in California I don't feel no and I'm not real I'm not privy to really what's going on in other places, but I just feel like we are not trained to have our shit together and be ready to race. Yeah. Like, and I don't know what it's going to take to change that. Well, like Kyle even made a comment last night because I kind of chewed his ass on the, the radio, the, the dash cars. There were six of them out there, and I was just like on the race receiver. Man, 57 and 1, we are all sitting out here. Everybody in the stands is sitting out here waiting for you guys. So just go ahead and take your time. <laughs> Come on out. I love that. <laughs> And then so he like, you know, he fired right back. Well then why did he put to the back? We're supposed to start in the last row. If we're gonna if we're gonna be late, you know. So I agree we that. might have to start looking into something like that because I know <clears throat> like these outlaw guys tonight, I mean if, if yeah. you're even I mean if that checkered flag in the race before and you're ten feet from the lane, yeah, you're going back a row. Yeah, this guy knows all about that. I was supposed to start in the front row at an outlaw show one time and did not get my ass to stadium in time. So I did not start in the front row. the perfect setup on it? <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in the car. Candace walked out of the trailer. She goes, you guys realize you were the only car in the pit area? And everybody's like, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> and just as soon as they start backing me out, I hear 7C, you're back, bro. <laughs> All right. There, there goes, goes my your, chance. Yeah, there goes your 410 my, and outlaw. Window my theory is I'm always good enough to stay in front of the outlaws, but I'm not good enough to get by the outlaws. So if I can get in front of them and, you know, kind of do one of these, I'm good. But yeah. blew that out the window. So yeah, you definitely, you know, when you're there racing, all you're worried about is your 
each one car when you're there, like doing the promoter thing, and you're trying to get all 24 cars out there. You know. Races are selfish, that's so, for sure, when it comes to race. Man. That's, yeah. uh, we don't all pull, pull the rope the same direction and the same strength, and I can see that would be frustrating. It's frustrating to me, and I'm not the promoter. Yeah, another like another tough thing too, and I, I'm sure even Scott Russell or, or Peter Murphy get it, is um, like when we're there doing the promoter thing, you are you are uh, you're running around doing so many things, you know, tow truck, fire crew, transponders, all these things that you really don't watch that many races. Like you know, I'll try and blow out there and watch a couple races here and there. Well, then you get guys that are you know, texting or calling or yelling at you because the, the start didn't go their way or this right, guy got right. cleaned out or that guy wrecked him. And it's like, oh man, I didn't, you know, I didn't even see it. <laughs> right, so, right. Um, that's another, you know, another tough thing. Yeah, stop and, texting them with the moral of the story. I thought stop you guys adjusted the lights because I didn't think the lights no. were bad at the bike night race. And then I got out there and I'm like, oh, what so, did they okay, do to these I'm lights? Fine. So, it's nobody's, nobody's fault really so Brad had mentioned at the bike race you know the berm is like kind of not steep enough and it's too easy to run the bottom you know you just straddle your car up there your right oh, yeah. in the hooky and away you go so you know Lowell um, he does a great job I know, I know you guys were just talking about him I think so Lowell puts in a ton of effort and he wants it to be perfect for you know how we want it so he our, our clay pile is over there by that turn one pole well, I guess when Lowell dug in to get some more clay to, to stack the berm up taller, oh. his uh, the skip loader shovel ripped those wires out of that hole. So the maintenance guy, Wayne, here is, is over there rebuilding all the wires. So he's telling me it should be good for tonight. Um, you know, All-Star Rentals, they uh, they helped us out for this week. So we did a, a, a rental light bulb from those guys, one of those generator light bulbs. So we need one. But Wayne's telling me we should be all good. It was so, dark. Yeah. No, I, I agree. It wasn't the best situation. I thought maybe that would have been Kyle's excuse. Like, yeah, I can see the corner. It was dark, but no. He could have went with that, I guess. Yeah, I know. I was having trouble seeing that too. Right? <laughs> I was amazed. I would give me, I'll go to my grave just shocked as hell that the he spun out on that first lap. <laughs> I actually thought it was going to be drastic. I mean, you know, it's his first time in the front row of a big race, you know, and I did it in Placerville. Well, I spun out my first time in the front row, took out half the field. They all wanted to kill me. Yeah. But I wasn't 14. Hell, I was probably 20 the first time I started in the front row. Talk about age differences. But... Yep. Are you racing this weekend? Uh, Friday. Okay, you're a brand new car. Yeah. Okay. You're Friday going, and then if that goes up, then we'll uh, do Saturday. Okay. You ran well last year on Freeland Magazine. Yeah, yeah. Near won the thing. Yeah, yes. Friday went good for us. Yeah. But pushing so, it too, like you even like lost the lead, but like got it back, like yeah. got up on the wheel, that and was I was fun. like, dude, look at this guy. Yeah. Who are you racing with? Uh, so gravel won, and then it was uh, Sheldon and Brad. Yeah. So a couple of good guys, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. A couple all stars, superstars. Yeah. These guys just, uh, I mean, everybody knows, but these guys just set such a fast pace. Dude, yeah. Hold your breath and, and close your eyes for 30 yeah. laps. But it's it's crazy. Like um, they can run thirty laps nonstop. Right, right. No yellows, no cautions. You know, I, can, I don't think I can do that. Yeah. Not at that pace. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like so qualifying lap. Qualifying pace yeah. every single lap. Yeah. yeah. That's why they get paid the big bucks. Yeah, yeah, that is. It's yeah. impressive. Yeah. That's why I, we joke that we'll be he'll be designing parking lots Monday morning. I will be staining cabinets Monday morning. <laughs> And they will be racing Monday morning because they're professionals and we're not. Yep. But every now and then, like you almost won last year, he's won it. You know, every Ten now and then. Ago, thank you, Kyle Larson, for getting a flat tire. Yeah, yeah I got my outlaw win. Yeah. Why didn't somebody get a flat tire the night I ran second? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice. I needed yeah. Jason Myers to blow you join out, and I would have won the gold cup. But, uh, <laughs> oh, well. I did beat Kyle that night, though. I, I'll take that one, too. Take it to our grave. Yeah. That's what it, a lot of people ask me that too. Do you know Kyle Larson? Well, look at that picture there. I'm racing with him. I'll show him a picture on the wall. But, you guys have done a good job here. I think everybody's kind of excited about the revival of Gold Cup and all the little intricacies that you guys have added to this thing. I love this pavilion. Yeah, talk about the pub, Colby. Yeah. yeah. Our, awesome. So, yeah, this was, uh, this was talk Brad this Rachel's way. idea. 
Um, and, and it turned out really good. Yeah, it's Brad's, let me think about this. Brad's brother-in-law. Can anybody help me out there? Chuck? Yeah, Chuck, is it, is it Brad's brother-in-law? Yeah, yeah, okay, Brad's brother-in-law. Uh, built these amazing bars and, and tables, and um, they actually turned out really good. I mean, this is this is uh, some fancy stuff. So it was great that um, those guys got that done. And I think this is kind of a new thing, so hopefully it'll catch on and, and more people will start enjoying it. Uh, I know they're open from noon until four or, or so. If it's going good, and people enjoy it. They'll stay open later, but um, hopefully it catches on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the concert was fun last night. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Sam uh pretty good. He's a, a great entertainer and you know, fun to be around. So. I heard you were quite the entertainer. Yeah, I heard so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Turned into karaoke there for a second. <laughs> Are you going to be a curb recording artist soon? Or what? I don't think so. No, not that good. No. I was told that they, one person did tell me that they thought you were the best out of the three. Oh, I didn't think that's too much. <laughs> That doesn't say much, all right. Yeah. So, so I see. mean, I guess it'd be fun to live in Nashville. Maybe. Yeah? yeah? How's the weather there? Hell, I don't know. I never leave Auburn. I'm barely, <laughs> yeah. barely made it up to Chico. Yeah, How's Nashville. the weather here? you got to do something about this weather next year. Next Gold Cup, we man, I know. 80 these, degrees. These uh, people that come from the East Coast, it's like, man, how do you deal with this? And I, I honestly can't remember it being this hot. No. I don't think I've no, ever felt it like this. Yeah. So, we, we've struggled... Uh, I don't know if people have noticed, but man, we've struggled with weather here this season. It seems like yes. it's a very limited amount of events a here. rain out in the June? Two. Two. Two when rain we out? started off at the first one, uh, oh my gosh. complete should, mud bottle. Should have canceled oh, yes, that night. Yes, yeah. yes. We needed four-wheel drive. We got it in, though. Got yeah. the show in. And then the what's the other one we tried to push through? The tartar or the wolf? The wolf. The wolf. We had two, yeah. The wolf we tried we to push through. We got to the V, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that one sucked. Yeah. The trip to Skag, the road to Skagit got canceled, and then did you guys lose power at the monster truck races because the wind blew the power line yeah. over? The one to so the one to Skagit, we had just got done with the the wolf race, and that just was a huge sour taste in my mouth because I feel horrible. Everybody had to go race with burn or burn their tires up, burn their fuel up, waste their time, didn't get anything out of it pretty much. So then we go. We get married, we go on our honeymoon in Hawaii, or Hawaii, we fly back home, and I'm leaving San Francisco Airport, I pull my phone up, and it says 60% chance of rain. <laughs> right then and there, I was like, nope, we're not even chancing it, we're done. Right now. And it ended up raining. It I did. Mean, it, Troy it and, and yes. Lowell are sending me monsoon pictures. Yeah. It was so, um, it's just, that's another thing about being a part of this. Yeah, how's that because, first year of SLC promotions, huh? Yeah, they've uh, yeah. had to struggle on us. And then, like Andy said, Somebody hit a, a power box and it shut the whole Costco, our fairgrounds, everything lost power. So we had no no lights, no concession stand. Um, the, the bathrooms are run on a well, so they, the toilets wouldn't flush. So it was uh, it was a struggle there. Luckily, we got the got on the city water, so we got the, the bathrooms going at least. But um, just one of the things rushed through the monster truck show. They got their whole show in. Everybody was happy, and uh, it worked out. Just one thing so, after another. Yeah. Man. Crazy. Yeah. So, and then the fairgrounds—they've been a, a huge help here. Um, so I think they're going to try and get like an emergency plug, and so something where you can bring in a big generator, plug it into this emergency plug, and it just Power makes up. everything go. Yeah. Right. So. Cool. Well, that's cool. They want to work with you. Yeah, yeah, that's no, something you a, don't see all the time show. with fairgrounds and racetracks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, especially uh, Nick is the fairboard manager, and then Melissa uh, has been a huge help up in the front too. Uh, you know, you always hear the stories about all oh, these guys fighting for this fairboard manager, you know, right. this and that. They, they've just, I mean, they've been on our team the whole time. Huge support. So appreciate those guys, and then obviously Wayne, their maintenance guy. He's been here since John Pageant. So I mean, he knows where every wire. Well, water, everything is around here, so it's a good help as well. That uh, that first race you guys had here, I'll, I'll never forget that we should have, you should have canceled. The place you guys had everything spit shine, yeah. got in the pits. We had the thing, the, the lines were chalked. I mean, yeah. everything was so pristine. It rained. There was shit everywhere, mud everywhere. All our cones were run over, <laughs> and I just thought to myself. 
what did these kids get themselves into? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. All the tractors were destroyed from uh, packing. Oh, it was man. just a complete disaster, and I just thought to myself, welcome to promoting, I guess. Yeah. But here you guys are, six months later, the biggest race in California, yep. and I think mean, it's going to be good. Yep. Get through this one. I think this, uh, obviously, this week's going to be good. Saturday looks really well for the weather. Yeah. Cross our fingers, it stays that way. It's a little yeah. cooler. And then uh, right back to the Fall Nationals in a couple of weeks. Three days this year. Yeah. Yes. What do we think about the three days? It's going to be getting well, You're the promoter. You tell me when you check, cast that check on Thursday night. I mean, we, we know yeah. California and weekday shows, weekday crowds are a struggle. Yeah. Even Fridays, not necessarily Thursdays. So uh, I think you'll get the back gate, but uh, the back gate doesn't cover. Even all these racers that we sit and run with, they all think that these promoters make a ton of money off the back gate. It gets spread pretty thin. Right. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope it works out. But we got the cars. I mean, yeah. the car count 360, right yeah, car count has been insane here. Right. So, yeah, I, I think you're going to be good there. Well, just the, the pool of teams that we have now that are coming from carts and micros, there's just so many new teams that are, the yeah. teams aren't the problem, we need more fans. Right, so. yeah, I mean, they, you know, what's that, Nick Parker's from Arizona, he's been coming up, yeah. and, then, and then all the way up in Washington, they've been coming down, so yeah. it's been, uh, the support through the back gate's been incredible, uh, we just need to get something going. We've been trying in the kids zone and I all know, the other things. I know. Fourth of July, if we could do fireworks every night, <laughs> holy smokes, we'd be rich. But, it's um, insane how many people show up for a Fourth of July yeah, race out here. Yeah. So Fourth of July was great, but um, yeah, if we could just get that that front gate going a little better, I think it'd be a good thing. I want to run some more races next year, maybe. Yeah. This the Fridays are tough, but maybe try and do a couple Fridays, maybe. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll have a little team meeting at the end of the season and. Look at everything before we head for uh, Reno there in December. Yeah. See what worked and what didn't work. Right. Yeah. And don't do what didn't work again. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Rachel's been, uh, obviously, she's here at every race, so uh, she's been keeping really good notes, and so we'll be able to look at what she's got and have a really good understanding on uh, what's going on here. So, nice. Uh, We're in for you. This is our home. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, are you, you're 83 B? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the Kyle Larson original car. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. And it was yellow too, wasn't it? Yeah, when he started. Yeah. And yeah. also, Sweet was in it early too. He won his first Civil War show driving for Petrillo. Or in second. And he was working for me. And I had to hear about it for a month. <laughs> God. I should have took his ass out and done with it. But uh, yeah, Brad's first Civil War way that possible was driving for the 83V. 2004. Well, yeah. Brad's getting old too. It goes fast, buddy. Yeah. So. Yep. I still remember you starting here in the 24 car. Yep. You blew your motor up. There was a there was a rod hanging out the side, and you drove right by me, and I'm looking at this thing puking oil off the side. I don't know if you remember me walking down to you and telling you, next time you blow your motor up. Just shut it off. <laughs> and then you get to the pit and you shut it off with the fuel. So it goes. <laughs> no, no, no. You panic, man. Yeah, I just shut everything off. Man. Quick, quick, quick. But the damage is already done. I just yeah. thought, I was like, here's this kid driving his car back to the pits with it blown up. Yeah, but, I guess that's an outlaw car thing. Like, we blew up. We're like, oh, we'll just drive you it You just back. drive it back to the trailer? Well, when a go kart, can, when a go kart blows up, it dies. It shuts off. Right. <laughs> so it's not dead. So no. I can still drive back. Still running, Dad. No, it's still running. <laughs> oh, you go kart kid. Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Colby. Yep. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Good luck tonight, huh? Thank you. Get yeah, these lights fixed tomorrow. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Yeah. Or Hopefully, Lowell will have her uh, tuned up for you guys. Yeah. Tuned up. Wink, wink. Wink. Juiced up to me. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think the, yeah, yeah, the heat races right wind, that, wind out a little bit for the format. Right. Yeah, that's oh, right. What is the format? Six invert, buddy. Civil six War, we're like getting old school? Yes. Okay. Take five. Six invert, take five. Oh, I thought we were doing points. Is it a, it, you got to transfer? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have to, uh, you have to transfer, um, and then the main event is lined up by invert eight from the eight fastest qualifiers that transfer. That transfer. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no dashes. No, no dashes. Dash. Okay. 
And then because uh, we want to be done racing and get out here and party. <laughs> Black light party tonight, school. right? Go Halloween. Style. You got a costume? Not yet. No. Not, Not yet. yet. It's in like six hours. I'll find something. <laughs> um, yeah. So we have that. So the interesting thing is, is that there's I think there's 31 each night. And there's about six 360s each night. So there could be a 360 that makes the entry. Oh, oh, for sure. Cool. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be pretty cool. That happened quite a bit. During yeah, the back, day. In, back in the day, that was my goal when I would bring my 360 here because it was a 24 car invert. So my goal was always to be like 20th and 24th. And we made it happen a few times. And that was always the thing. Prelim night. Make, make the main event a prelim night. Yeah. And I actually ran 7th in the B main in the final night in my 360. So that was kind of my claim to fame. And then we started coming to 410 and went backwards. <laughs> Didn't even make the freaking B main. I'm like, well, hell, why would we bring my 410? I ran 7th in the B last year with my 360. But uh, it's either uh, you just kind of catch lightning in the bottle with these outlaw races. I mean, yeah. I've been here and I've been relatively competitive with the outlaws since round 2. And then they come back the next year and not even make the damn show. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, what the hell changed? But, uh, we'll see. I'm hoping to strike, get lightning in a bottle tonight. Yeah, me too. Me too. Well, you don't need to. That's fine. Nah. Maybe tomorrow. 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 I can save it. Save it for tomorrow. All righty. Well, thank you guys. Get back to work, buddy. Yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out.